Welcome back to the channel guys. In today's episode I'm going to be finishing off some small details on my basement project and that is going to be Cat6 cable. So I've got all this Cat6 cable that's running throughout my house and I have not terminated this. Now I want to show you how to terminate these and put their proper ends on them and for this we'll need a couple of specialty tools. First tool is not a 100% requirement but this is going to allow you to use this part right here to strip off the outside of the cabling very nicely without nicking any of the communication wires. The second tool you'll need is this crimper itself, which allows you to put the ends in here and crimp it down. Now, if you don't have friends that have these tools that you can borrow off them, you might still consider purchasing them. And why I say that is for this job, if you're gonna call an electrician, uh, for them to do this for you, it would probably easily be over $100. You can definitely buy these tools. And with the tools, you'll have them forever. You can essentially you've paid yourself in tools rather than paying someone else to do the job for you. Now, as far as the ends that you do require, there's a couple of different styles of them. The ones that I have are really nice because it allows you to actually push the wires all the way through the connector and stick out. And I'll show you that later, but that is very helpful. This is the style of connector that I am using. And I'll put a link in the description below if you want to purchase these type of connectors. Now, the first step is to strip off the shielding on this cable. This is where this tool comes in, in very handy. Now, because these are pushed through connectors, you don't have to worry too, too much about how much you're actually removing um, as far as the shielding. So give yourself uh, some room for error and I would go for about an inch and a half. And now you want to untwist all of the wires. They will be twisted into pairs and that's not really important for what we're, uh, what we need to do. You're going to have to get them all aligned in the proper order for these cables to work. The straighter the cables are, the easier they're going to fit working into the connector. So now you want to get all of the wires arranged in this configuration. So you've got your white with the orange stripe, your orange, your white with the green stripe, blue, then blue, white with the blue stripe, then solid green, then white with the brown stripe, and then solid brown. This is all while looking at the connector from the bottom side, not the top side that has that has this little doodad. So there I've got them all set up in their correct order. And now the tricky bit is trying to get them all bunched together and keep them in that same order so that you can get them into their connector. Now I'm just trimming off the ends here so that they're all square. And now with them all square and in the right order, I can start putting them into the connector. Now this is what I mean by the push through style. And so this makes it quite a bit easier to verify that you've got them in the right order before you crimp. So I'm just gonna double check this one. So we got orange with the, or white with the orange stripe, and we got orange, then we've got uh, white with the green stripe, and we got solid blue. Then we've got white with a blue stripe, then we got green, then we got white with a brown stripe and brown. With these also, there's a crimp right here that goes onto the casing to hold it secure. So you wanna make sure that you've pushed this in as far as it can go. And to finalize things, you're just taking the tool, inserting it all the way in, and then crimping all the way down. 